Hello, this is Tommy Tan again. Today I'm going to share with you my six step framework to learn computational biology. So, step number one get familiar with the foundations. Like learning any other skill sets, you want to master the building blocks or the basics first. For computational biology, you want to get familiar with the basics of Unix. R and Python first. I still remember when I started learning Unix 10 years ago, it was not intuitive to me at all. However, after I mastered the basics, I love it and I cannot go back to use the Windows machine anymore. So it can take time and effort, but if you start now, you will get there sooner. Step number two, reproduce figures in the papers. So I found that reproducing figures in the published papers is a really good way to learn computational biology. So first, find a good paper, read it, download the data if it's available, and remake the figures. You may see a lot of fancy figures in those papers, but all the figures get down to several uh, basic categories. For example, a histogram, a box plot, a scatter plot, a bar plot, or a heat map, or a combination of all of them. So actually, once you know how to make those basic figures, it's not really hard to reproduce those figures. The hard part is to uh, know what's the input of those, uh, of those figures and how do you reshape the data into a format that you can easily make those figures. So no matter how much you read, you watch uh, from step one, and getting your hands dirty is more important. Step number three, learn by doing. It is related to step number two, but here you learn by doing a real project. So take on a real project in your lab or company that involves, for example, sequencing data analysis. In this process, you will encounter a lot of challenges, but you will learn a lot by going through them. And more, more importantly, you can write down the learning lessons that uh, you have uh, just by going through those challenges. It will help you and also help others. Step number four. Repetitions. So you want to iterate step two and three. So reproduce as many figures as you can and do as many projects as you can. Because the more projects you do, the more experienced you become. It's like building your muscles. The, the more you work out, the more muscles that you will gain. So the time is the currency that you have to pay for getting more experienced. Step number five, join a community. So you can join the community. For example, the uh, Twitter has this uh, Twitter bioinformatics community. You, you also want to join Seek Answers, BioStars, or subreddit called bioinformatics. So why do you want to join a community? So you can go fast alone, but you can go much further uh, together with others. So a community shares the same you know, frustration but also passion. You will be able to learn from each other. The last step, step six, learn by teaching. So after you become a little bit more experienced, you want to teach others and you will learn a lot by doing so. There's a misconception that people want to learn from uh, an expert, but the reality is people want to learn from people who are only a few steps ahead of them. I still remember I taught my first uh, R in the Unix workshop, data carpentry workshop at the University of Miami. Only after two years, I started to learn them. No, I was scared to death, but it turned out to be really good. People love it, and I enjoyed the experience so much. And lastly, sharing is also caring. That's why I am teaching you how to learn computational biology. 
So that's it for today. Click subscribe if you like this content. Thank you. Happy learning.